Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm out here in Saudi Arabia and I'm delighted to be joined by Tasha Jonas. Tasha, it's your first time in Saudi Arabia, I believe. How are you finding it? Oh, I've had a brilliant time. I've been um, training in the Mike Tyson gym. We've been um, out with the camels in the desert. And like we've got local uh, like a big shopping mall there, so it's been it's totally not what I expected. It's not stereotypical in any sense, um, but it's been a great experience. Oh, people are going to be asking. I think I was at your last fight in January, and for a boxer, nine months, ten months out the ring is very frustrating, Tasha. So what can you tell us? Nothing. Hopefully there'll be fight news soon. Um, I am looking to definitely be out before the end of the year. What date that is, I don't know. <laughs> When you look at the women's boxing right now, is, is it the Michaela Meyer rematch? You've got young fighters coming through in the UK as well. What At this stage in your career, what type of fight are you wanting? It is it that big main event fight? Because I know there's been talk, is it, is it Lauren Price as well? There's been talks of that. But are you at the stage of your career right now where you want the, the, the fights that are going to, I don't know, make the most money, if that's fair to say? Yes, but I suppose so. But also the ones that satisfy me. There's like an itch of Katie Taylor that I just need to scratch. Um, and have one last, one more, one last go, and I think, um, I think that's that's the big one for me uh, personally. But yeah, there's, there is other fights like that, like the Maya fight now that she's got a title. Um, yeah, there's Lauren. Um, but yeah, I think uh, to be fair, the Maya fight was something we both tried to get on since since it happened in January. Supposed to be in June, didn't happen. Supposed to be July, didn't happen. There was loads of different back and forths of why it didn't. Um, so that was through no fault of our own. We actually did try everything that we could. And um, maybe that that fight is a, is a fight now that's even bigger now that she's got a title and we can unify. I feel like time is of the essence here because obviously yourself and Katie Taylor, and I'm, you don't ever say a woman's age, but do you think time is of the essence to get that fight made? Yeah, definitely. I think we're, we're both not at the start of our careers um, and we are drawing to, yeah, um, towards the closing curtain. So, you know, the last, you know, big here, you, here we are and then, yeah. What to talk to, to, to Michaela Meyer, Sandy Ryan fight, but before we talk about that fight, what did you make of the, the pre-fight antics with Sandy getting paint thrown on her and all that sort of stuff? What did you make of all that? Yeah, I mean, there isn't nothing really to say. I think, um, I thought, it was a bit far-fetched for Sandy to, to, you know, kind of express that she may think it's Mich Michaela Meyer and her team. I'd like, to, I mean, you never know, but I would really like to think that Michaela's not that type of person. Um, obviously, there's consequences as well to actions like that, so I think she'd be aware of that, and she wouldn't need to do anything like that. She's a, a professional in every sense of the word. Um, I haven't actually seen the fight in full, so I can't I can't comment on the fight and the scoring and who I thought won. Um, but I always knew it was going to be a, a close four match. You know, these are two elite girls got a great amateur pedigree and backgrounds, and they've done uh, excellent and excelled as pros as well. Definitely, and like we like say, women's boxing is flying at the moment, and uh, it's been flying for a long time now. And you've been the flag bearer for a long time as well, Tasha. But when you look at this world title fight here in Saudi with Sky Nicholson and Raven Chapman, it's the first world female world title fight out in Saudi, so history's been made here. But when we look at the fight itself, I mean, it's a, it's a good fight, it's a tricky fight to call, but how do you see it? So I'm like not in three for predictions in the last like four fights, so um, don't, don't, don't listen to anything. Don't bet on Tasha Jonas' yeah. pick. Whatever I say, just bet on the other person. But yeah, no, I think, you know, if you're looking at pedigree and, you know, experience, you'd probably favor Sky. Um, but from what I've heard, and from the rumours in camps and stuff, Raven's been absolutely excellent throughout camp. So I think if there could be an upset, it could be here. Um, we'll see. Main event aside, on tomorrow night, what other fight are you excited about? Oh, listen, Wardley Clark, number one, was the best fight I've seen live. And I, I, I honestly hope it doesn't do the same thing. Yeah, yeah, because he's already promised me on Sky that he's not gonna, he's not gonna have that same fight. Because I wasn't ready for all them emotions. <laughs> I wasn't ready for like the tears and then the joy and then the as he got it. And he asked me at the end of the fight, what, what, what score did you have? Because I was doing the commentary for Sky. And honestly, by round six, I'd lost it. I, I just lost this. I couldn't score it. I was up and down and shouting. So, yeah, I, I hope it's not. I mean, the fans are probably hoping that it is that fight. I'm hoping that it's not. 
Um, I think I think Ben was right in what he said that that phase uh, I'd learned a lot for that fight, and that's like two, three fights experience, and I think he'll come out on top. Well, the main event then. I know you. I've been in your own words. You've been wrong in these predictions. <laughs> But when you look at the main event, it, to be fair, it's a hard one to pick. I mean, you've got two contrasting styles. You've got this front foot, come forward, controlled aggression, uh, throws a lot of punches in Arta Berdebia, but then you've got this slick footwork who punches on the way out, punching backwards, punching forwards, gives you angles, throws a lot of punches in Dimitri Bivol. So it's definitely a hard fight to pick. But again, I'm going to press you, Tasha. <laughs> That's my thumbnail. <laughs> um, come on, what, what do you, how do you see this fight? So I've been back and forth. And uh, the pros and cons for everyone is just like, like you said, like, I'm, I'm just going to go bit to beer. I just think with someone like him, you have to make him respect you. You have to stand firm, punch him hard and punch him off. And I think, yeah, we have the IQ is with Bivol and the, the you know, the foot, the footwork and, and the, you know, the back, back foot style. Can you do that for 12 rounds? And I know Canelo's aggressive, but he's not, uh, he's not, you know, a natural uh, light heavyweight. So, yeah, I'm just going to go Bivol because he, he's got a chin. He's got, he's been dropped and got Callum Johnson's dropped him. He's not invincible, but he got back up and he won. Um, he can punch, he can bang, and he's not, he's not just any type of, you know, wild come forward fighter. He's smart with it, and and he's broken. He breaks people down, and, and yeah, I'm just going to go with the beer. Do, do, do you think there's going to be a stoppage in this one? Can you see a stoppage? Do you think this is going to distance? So Callum Simpson said it's either going to be a bit better be of stoppage or a bivol point, and I'd probably agree with that. If it goes the distance, then you... Do, do you know what I say about, about bivol? Is that I, I honestly don't think we've seen the best of him. He always does more than enough to win the round but still looks like he's got three, four gears left. So, will better be able bring that out of him? He'll have to. He'll have to use that fourth, fifth and sixth gear to, to win. Um, and I probably agree with Callum Simpson, what, what he said. It, if it goes to the point, you've got to probably favour Bivol. Well, final one, Natasha, before I let you enjoy the rest of the day, before we go to the, the way in tonight. No more predictions, no more predictions. But yeah, let's predict. When are you next out? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna roll the dice and say December. 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 Right. Promise. No. <laughs> I promise. It's where the boxer promised that. So. And listen, I won't get you much longer, Tasha. Always. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you.